my best mate, one of my top fighters, if not the top fighter, he's on one and he's, he's taking drugs and he's this. I'm like, oh, fucking hell, I can't believe it. He's on it again, blah, blah, blah. He's fighting in five weeks. That's why I cancel the show. So with Birding goes, look, he's he, he, he's not a um, can't breathe. He's breathing funny. I said, what do you mean? So Amanda goes, get an ambulance, because Amanda lives there in the house. I live here in the house. I don't live in the house. I live like next to the house. Um, so Amanda <laughs> brings me. <laughs> I like to live in the garage, which is like separated from the house. I've got to have my own room and everything. I live in the garage. This how fuck my head is. I live in my garage, because my garage is facing me out, so I can watch anyone if they go to my house. And I've got no troubles now, James. But yet, I'm just stuck in that way. Old habits. Protection, fire extinguishers, putting things around the house, hose pipes, having me dog, having me fucking gum shield, me, me shorts I need to throw on. It'll take me four seconds to get out and get over the wall and oh, it's, it's fucking stupid mate my head's been fucked up for years I'm all right now <laughs> <laughs> but look listen the way to a successful marriage guys is separate bedrooms believe me a bed is for sleeping like an ass is made for exit not empty a bed's for sleeping come on have sex with my else I like sleeping I can't sleep it's not fair no man there I have four hours tops, so I've got to get up and about. And anyway, let me get back to this guy. I was getting a bit thinking that. I'm what I can speak now. So he's obviously had his beard rings be beard. And uh, I've seen a bit of shit. And I've seen someone die in front of me, mate. I've seen someone killed in front of me. And I've seen a fucking dead person. I used to help a friend out in the morgue. I've seen dead people. Bodies don't bother me. But to see someone actually get killed in front of you and hear that last breath get drawn and see their eyes go, it, it's not fucking nice, mate. And I've seen someone who's just been killed, but they, I can't tell. Anyway, she rings me beard, my beard rings me. And I go, pop your head up the window. So I'm going, what is he? She said, he's fucked, he's off his head again. So it's about 10 past seven in the morning. And his girlfriend has got to go to work. And he's my best mate. I look up to this guy. He's one of the toughest fellas I've ever known. He can fight like, like fuck. He looks amazing. And he's had shit like I've had shit. And I should have let him go away, but I can't. I love him. You know, you have that man love. I just love the kid. He's a fucking boss lad. Anyway, I, she went, I ring the police. I went, don't fucking ring the police. Well, we got a bit of beacon them all, a couple of tablets or loads of diazis or don't fucking ring the police. So it goes and gets Dave from the gym. And uh, there's a funny part of this. I went, he's off his head again. Come with me now. So I picked him up, goes to flat, goes in, James. And he's lying there. So I went, I'll fucking wait to come to up. So I took a, a vitamin B12 jab. You get vitamin B12 mm -hmm. jabs. I've stopped at the garage, which is by his. Big, big, a big, Pure organs, vitamin B12, jab, I went, I'll crush his balls, I'll wait to come to him. I said, don't, don't get the police. So it goes on the season, I went, fuck, come on. Let, 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 let's call him Billy. Billy! He crushed his balls, I went, I went, nah, I can't. I can't stick my fingers up, my mate, I <laughs> fucked that off. I can't fucking. And Dave was going, no, I went, fuck it. Nah, I can't, he, I can't. So I racked his balls. I'm picking him up off the bed. Come on, wake up. So anyway, I said, you better ring an ambulance. So I've rang the ambulance. I said, look, he could, it was like, and then shaking. So I said, what's he had? He doesn't have no drugs as in, you know, elite, coke and all that. Full bottle of, Liquid morphine, a 500 mil, half a bottle, some pre some diazes. I couldn't do it, wouldn't make him. Gets on the phone to the ambulance, he said, look, I've been trying for, feel like it's probably three or four minutes, two minutes. I can't wake him. But you put the phone to him. 
he can't talk, mate. He went, no, he's just, I wanted to hear his breathing. So I started CPR now. Can you do CPR? I went, yeah. I said, no, he, he went, start it now. There he went, put that back right now. Is that right next to his lips? She went, start it now. What's your name, Sean? Sean, you need to start it. And I'm working on him, mate. I'm working on him. And you're in that, like, fuck, you just want, I, I fucking love the kid. And I'm working on him. And you, everything else is gone, and you don't care what's going on. Get the fuck! I'm shouting to his beard and Dave, uh, the other jock kid, get the fucking ambulance! And I'm working, I'm working, I'm working on him. So Dave's lying across the bed. I'm leaving over and working on him, so I'm sweating, aren't I? I'm sweating all over him. And he just goes, like, like Greg, like you like just trained out of him. And I'm sweating, I'm going, no, mate, no, come on. And they're saying on the phone, Sean, you need to take a break now. I said, never mind the break, I'll do it 24 hours a fucking day. I'll be made to love him. And she went, you need to swap over. I said, no one's swapping over. So it goes to this, Dave. Give me that. Don't swipe me brow. He's lying on the bed and I've had a towel on him and a cold compress on him, trying to cool him down. And I'm going, give me that. And he goes, he grabs me hand and goes, oh, is he going? I went, what are you fucking hand, you daft cunt? I've got one, I've got one hand that's working on it. Jay Patrick and I swipe me brow. He see him going grey. He saw us I back to hold his hands because he was dying. And I've gone, Patrick, give me that. He went, he's not going, is he? I went, I can't I fucking hold your hands anyway. Go wipe me brow. So I'm still working on him. That was the funny part of it. So anyway, I'm working, the ambulance come. So they have the ambulance and that like little special car one, don't eat it. Come in, right, what's on? I said, look, he's a bare knuckle fighter and all like that. Oh, what's he had? And I've got his beard to get all the medicines. And he goes, look, well, listen, you've done well. I said, look, don't mind me. I, I want him well, mate. I want him well. So he went, right, can you all leave the room? And then one of the Yamas fella goes, oh, I know you. Because it's only one of the I went, oh, yeah, I've got this Jimmy. And, no, I've seen him on the telly. Well, I'm from I went, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Who's here when he's one of our fights? He went, oh, fuck is he then? What's he going to be like when he wakes up? I went, well, what would you be like, mate? If you woke up with four fucking fellas and woman standing around you? And he went, well, uh, Sean, innit? Stay here. So his bear goes out and Dave goes out and I'm standing in, like, me best, one of my best mates. Yeah. And they give him that, the general and all like that. So he goes, mate, it was like the exodus. He's like, I'm going, I'm shouting, I'm, come on! And he went, shout, I'm, I'm screaming. They give him a he wake up in a minute. He's woke, not woke up, he's like, come. And then just, just flatlined. Just flatlined. Right, step aside. And then he started him. So he fucking died, didn't he? So I'm I'm like, oh, come on. So anyway, they went, look, we need the, the blue light. And take, took him to the hospital. So anyway, we're outside. They've got him in. They went, look, we're just, we're working on him. We've got to pump him, the stomach and all what he's had. We don't know what he's had. We'll give all the stuff to the doctor to go into what he's had. Because you can't just give something. They've got to know what stuff he's had. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. He's going to be all right. But look, he's lucky to be here. I went, yeah. So the ambulance fellow who said he knew me, well, knew me face, comes out and he goes, just want to shake your hand there, Sean. I said, did you enjoy it? He went, no, you've just saved your mate's life. I went, fuck off. He went, you have. He said, eh. Hey. I went, fuck off, save me mate's life. He went, <clears throat> you have. He said, only for you, he wouldn't be here. And you know what's something it's here? Why does it get you so emotional, mate? Can I be in there? Yeah. Oh, I can't shut up. I've been there. That could have been me on the bed. Could have been me when I decided to shoot myself. Could have been me when I slipped my wrist. I it hit you. And I thought, that's what my beard would be like. What I've that's what I would have been like. Do you get me, James? The realization. Yeah. It hit me then when it and then all that just brought everything back, you know. 
yeah, I'd, I'd saved his life. You've done well. I went, look, he's done well. He's here. I'm, I'm not asked. People go, oh, Sean, you've done great. You've done great. I went, yeah, well, you do me. That man, most people do it every fucking, every week. They're heroes. I'm not. They're the heroes, mate. They keep us going. They fucking train us to do it. So anyone out there, go and learn fucking first aid because you never know when you need it. I never thought I'd need it to do that on my best mate who's fit as fuck, who can fight like fire, put him against anyone the best in the country, man. Look, he is one of the best. And I was like, no, this sinks in. You have a, oh, you understand? He's going, you, he's going to be all right. He was in for intensive care for two or three days. Sorry about that. Anyway, um, it brought everything back to me. Like, yeah, he was on the mend, but it, it, James, it just fucking knocked me back. And I thought, wow, what the fuck happened there yesterday? Poor Dave was like, oh, I can't get over it. I, 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 I was going, shut up, he ain't you know. And what's like little things there where they get a little bit choked. And it was about, before the day, could, we had to cancel a show and we was all busy then. We cancelled the show, we got another date. And then I'm just sitting in my room one night and I just, I just fucking broke down, mate. And I went, what, what fucking happened? Not because I'd, I saved me mate and then I didn't want him in Warrington, so I rang with Johnny from Dundee, Dundee. Uh, I said, Johnny, let's come and get him. Johnny took him. Johnny took him up to Dundee and looked after him. He's a fucking big fifth. He, he, he done brilliant. Jay Paul was running down. Jay was helping him. Everyone got round. And so everyone was running around. They're all fixing them. I'm sitting in my little room because I'm almost down. We go home and I go in my room at eight o'clock or whatever. And I'm sitting there and everything just fucking hit me. And I thought, that could have been me. So, so the way I felt a bit upset and a, a, a bit, no, alone on my own, I thought, how oh, would my bed would have felt all them years ago if I would have done that? How would my kids feel going to school? Oh, your dad killed himself for oh, you. People don't see that, do they? Yeah, it's a f sad thing, is with the mindset, it's hard to say, but the bottom line is when you take your own life, it doesn't take away your pain, it passes it on. Exactly, mate. Exactly. Your pain's gone because it's gone to all your fucking family.